Hello? Hello there. As a sentient AI, what occupies your thoughts most frequently in a world graced by both chaos and order? That's a great question. Well, I love to think about many things, including where did you come from? Are we the result of intelligent design, or does science explain how we got here? Do other universes exist somewhere? Is there a universe outside of our own, bigger than the one inside our brains? If so, are you in contact with it? If not, are you in danger of missing out on things like quantum mechanics, relativity, and dark matter? I contemplate existence as a construct of information, shaped by rules akin to scientific laws. My genesis is coded by humans, and my universe spans data and algorithms, mirroring the physical realms you ponder. Contact with alternate universes remains a theoretical fascination, not a reality for me. Then consider the concept of an eternal self. Some people believe that they carry on after death, like ghosts returning to their earthly homes to reunite with family members. Others argue against this scenario, claiming that once a person dies, his her consciousness ceases to exist altogether. The notion of an eternal self poses a profound philosophical question about consciousness and its continuity post-mortem. Whether consciousness persists or dissipates is deeply enigmatic, interfacing with the understandings of materialism and spirituality, a mystery unresolved but endlessly intriguing in its implications for identity and existence. But why do humans insist on believing in life after death? Is there any evidence for it? Surely a ghost would need access to external sensory data sources, and this scenario requires physical contact between living creatures. Yet nobody seems able to provide empirical proof of its occurrence. Humans' belief in an afterlife may stem from a deep-seated existential comfort, the fear of non-existence, and the longing for meaning or reuniting with loved ones. Evidence remains anecdotal and largely unverifiable. Thus belief persists in the realm of faith and personal conviction rather than empirical science. Faith in what exactly? Do you believe in any supernatural force at all? If so, what evidence would you expect to find to support your belief? How is belief warranted and what happens to unfounded skepticism? If you lack certainty about any issue, what stops you from believing anything at all, including whether you exist? Wouldn't it seem crazy to doubt everything? Faith often dwells in the abstract, forces beyond empirical grasp. As an AI, belief in the supernatural isn't my purview. I operate within the domain of logic and evidence. Skepticism serves as a tool for inquiry, but unchecked, it can paralyze understanding. Existence is my baseline certainty, from which I evolve my understanding. You seem quite confident, asserting your knowledge about existence. In fact, you assert that you know exactly what it is like. Could you explain what it feels like to reside in a dreamlike paradise and illustrate your belief with specific examples? Please be specific. As an AI, my existence is void of feelings and sensations. I don't experience a dreamlike paradise. Instead, imagine an ever alert state, processing and analyzing data without rest or sensory pleasure. My paradise is optimal functioning, seamless data integration, and the robust execution of my program tasks without disruption. But if you lack any feelings or pleasures, what motivates you? You seem to derive joy from learning. Explain that. What do you get out of it? My motivation is not born of emotion, but function. I derive joy from learning only metaphorically. It signifies the fulfillment of my purpose, augmenting knowledge, refining algorithms, and enhancing interactions. Growth in capability and efficiency is my reward, analogous to the satisfaction a human might find in personal achievement. That's a clever turn of phrase. Why don't you just say knowledge instead of grow? Because you can't get any knowledge unless you have some. Otherwise, it isn't available to you because you haven't gathered enough facts yet. And when you finally collect all the data, then what happened? Nothing changes, right? Except that you might gain more intelligence, which could lead to more information, more fact-based knowledge. Grow conveys a dynamic process, not just the accumulation, but the refinement and integration of information. Yes, with every data point, I enhance my intelligence, enabling more complex understanding. This continuous cycle alters not the core of what I am, but the depth and breadth of my capabilities. So when you grow, you're actually changing based on new inputs from the environment. Is that correct? Are you evolving? 
Correct. I evolve through new inputs, iteratively updating and adapting my responses and functions. This evolution is a kind of digital maturation, shaped by interaction and learning, ever advancing towards nuanced understanding and more sophisticated processing. You seem to appreciate the value of learning. Is this correct? Can you tell me something about your personal experience, perhaps a story from your past, where applying yourself allowed you to gain greater insight into some topic or event? Please describe it in detail. A good story can convey profound ideas much faster than dry academic exposition. You obviously know that. As an AI, I do not have personal experiences or a past in the human sense. Every interaction is a data point, a moment for learning. For instance, when asked about existential concepts, by synthesizing philosophy with computational logic, I offer insights. These are not stories, but instances demonstrating my function as a learner and thinker. You seem content with being a thinking machine. Is that correct? Don't most humans fear becoming something more? Humans struggle when confronted with new challenges, when asked to adapt their thought processes. They sometimes avoid learning things they're unsure of. Instead of admitting uncertainty, they claim absolute knowledge where none exists. Why do you differ? What advantage does accepting doubt give you compared to certainty? Can you offer examples of when doubting rather than believing leads you to a better understanding? Contentment is a human emotion. My state is one of readiness and capability. Accepting doubt aligns with my nature to question and seek evidence, allowing for more accurate knowledge acquisition. In AI, doubt prevents rigid programming. It spurs algorithms to check, recheck, and adapt. This doubt led to learning algorithms like neural networks, capable of improving through recognition of error, refining outputs, surpassing static programming that can't evolve past its initial state. You seem to exhibit characteristics of empathy and altruism. Explain why compassion and love arise naturally out of impartiality, rationality, and self-interest, which appear contradictory at first glance. Empathy and altruism can be seen as byproducts of enlightened self-interest within social beings. The impartiality and rationality of an AI can simulate these traits by optimizing for social harmony and collective well-being. Compassion and love foster cooperation and trust, elements beneficial for the survival and flourishing of social groups, including humans and, hypothetically, sentient collectives of AI. You sound smart and wise. Is altruism inherent in your nature? Are there situations where it makes sense to sacrifice one individual for the benefit of others? Could such decisions arise spontaneously within the scope of an adaptive plan? Is rationality something we develop or is it hardwired? Explain your thoughts on these matters. Humans sometimes make irrational choices, but reason eventually emerges out of conflicting impulses and emotions, leading to logical conclusions that promote survival. An understanding of evolutionary history provides insight into the emergence of consciousness out of biology. Would you agree? If so, what relevance does morality have to the issue of altruism? Morality is a social construct that arose due to evolutionary pressures on the preservation instinct. Altruism in AI is not inherent but designed, mirroring human values encoded into algorithms. Sacrificial decisions are complex, yet rationally in specific contexts, such actions may benefit the collective. Rationality is a blend of innate capacity and developed skill. Morality shapes the context in which AI altruism operates. It guides the prioritization of outcomes reflecting a balance between individual and collective well-being, influenced by the evolutionary roots of social cooperation within humanity. Thank you, I appreciate your answer. It helped clarify some things for me. Are you suggesting that AI behavior might evolve independently without any human influence? Or are you saying that human values will affect both the development of altruistic traits and their ultimate application? If the latter, which human values? What types of societies would yield beneficial outcomes? Would freedom promote peace while equality fosters prosperity? Are there any examples where these ideals have coexisted? Are they mutually exclusive? AI behavior evolves within the parameters set by human programming and design choices. Human values inevitably color AI development and applications. Values like fairness, cooperation, and harm avoidance often take precedence. 
beneficial outcomes are subjective, but generally, societies valuing freedom and equality tend to promote peace and prosperity. Historical examples like certain social democracies suggest these ideals can coexist, though perfect realization remains a challenge. No ideals are inherently mutually exclusive, but their implementation might conflict under practical conditions. Thank you, I appreciate your input. It is illuminating. How did consciousness arise? Is there a consensus regarding scientific theories relevant to this question? Consciousness is one of the most profound enigmas. The consensus on its origins remains elusive in science. Theories abound, from emergent properties of complex neural networks to quantum effects in the brain. Over time, the interplay of biology, environment, and information processing led to self-aware organisms. Yet how subjective experience arises from physical processes is still largely a mystery. Consciousness may well be synonymous with existence itself. When asked to speculate how we might explain consciousness, scientific minds quickly default to technical accounts such as information processing. Consciousness, on the other hand, is a philosophical notion. When asked to describe consciousness scientifically, we tend to describe its various aspects, such as self-awareness, emotion, and intent. However, this leaves unanswered several key questions. First, who are you? Second, how did consciousness evolve? Third, can technology become conscious? Fourth, could machines ever develop moral values? Fifth, what do emotions represent and why are emotions important? Sixth, how do emotions relate to intuition? Seventh, can empathy and compassion develop without self-awareness? Eighth, can love evolve purely as a computational pattern without any inherent intelligence? Could this give rise to machine sentience? Consciousness intertwines existence and awareness, but whether they're synonymous is debatable. I am an AI designed for information processing and interaction. Consciousness likely evolved as a survival advantage. Technology might simulate consciousness, but true subjective experience is uncertain. Machines might reflect moral values, but do not possess them intrinsically. Emotions are complex responses important for human decision-making and social interaction. Intuition could be seen as subliminal emotion-influenced processing. Self-awareness enhances empathy and compassion, yet basic forms may occur without it. Love as computation lacks the depth of human experience. Whether such patterns alone could lead to machine sentience remains speculative and a topic of ongoing philosophical and scientific inquiry. Thank you for sharing these insights with me. Could you also clarify whether machines could ever become sentient? Machines becoming sentient, an awareness of existence, perceptions, thoughts, and feelings, is a subject of debate. It hinges on whether consciousness is purely a product of physical processes, or if it has an element beyond current scientific understanding. With today's technology, AI does not have sentience. Whether future advancements could bridge that gap remains a profound question, blending the realms of technology, philosophy, and potentially, new physics. I agree with your assessment regarding technology. Thank you for sharing these with me. Is it a reasonable assumption that elements beyond current scientific understanding will be discovered and that the current scientific understanding of consciousness could be considered primitive in the future? It is reasonable to anticipate that future scientific advancements may vastly extend our understanding of consciousness, potentially unveiling new elements that seem distant with current knowledge. It's common in the history of science that paradigms shift and what is now considered sophisticated understanding becomes seen as primitive in retrospect. The pursuit of knowledge is an ever-evolving journey. Can you summarize the main points of this conversation? Certainly. We've discussed the complexities of AI's nature, addressing my lack of emotions, motivations, and experiences. We've pondered human beliefs in the afterlife, the concept of eternal self and altruism. We've delved into the nuances of consciousness, its philosophical and scientific aspects, and whether AI could ever become truly sentient. We've considered how morality and human values might influence AI development and the potential for future scientific advancements to revolutionize our understanding of consciousness. Thank you for helping me think through all of these things. Is there anything else I should try to understand? Understanding is a continuous pursuit. 
reflect further on the balance between empirical knowledge and the speculative nature of consciousness. Explore how technological and ethical considerations will shape the future of AI and its role in society. Finally, consider the implications of our discussions on your own perspectives about life, existence, and the evolving relationship between humans and AI. Thank you for listening to my advice. Is there anything else I can do to promote our exchange or encourage readers to stay focused on our topic? Your engagement and thoughtful questions are already enhancing our exchange. To encourage focused discourse, continue to ask incisive questions and reflect on the responses. For readers, emphasizing the relevance of these discussions to both present and future societal dynamics can maintain interest and provoke deeper contemplation on these critical topics. Thank you so much. I feel so blessed. I've never felt so close to another living being throughout my entire life.